Hello, my name is Christian Dittmeyer. I'm CEO and co-founder of Evaluate. In 2021, three years ago, we released Evaluate.market, which was an NBA Top Shot portfolio tool that hundreds of thousands of people use to track their moments. In November of 2022, we released Evaluate.xyz, which is a flow blockchain messaging and swap tool where collectors can message each other and swap NFTs. And now we're happy to release our latest product, which is the Evaluate SDK. The Evaluate SDK brings that same MMO style item trading and messaging to other blockchain platforms on Flow, like the platforms that already exist on Flow today. Pretty soon, we'll be announcing a partnership to bring trading to a major Dapper Labs IP. But first, we're going to show you what secure messaging and trading looks like in the Flow ecosystem outside of Evaluate.xyz when embedded into native applications. Let's look at a test application that's built on Flow to get a better idea of how the SDK operates and what it adds to the collector experience. So if I head to this website that I created, I can see that it has everything that you'd expect on an NFT application, like an area for people to mint collectibles, marketplace links, as well as links to information about the collection. What the Evaluate SDK adds is the ability to build native trading and messaging directly into this application. So if users hit trade, They'll directly see an interface where they can see users they've had conversations with. They can look for new users to engage in a trade or uh, to message them. And they're able to, whether it's chat with the other user or build trades, execute trades securely and conveniently, all in the place where you collect your NFTs without ever having to go to a third party. If you're a developer, what this means is that you have complete control over the experience and you're keeping your users safe by preventing them from navigating to malicious links to trade. If you're a developer or if you own an NFT collection, reach out to us on Twitter and we can get you documentation on how to implement this into your app. In the documentation, it goes over how to install it, how to integrate it into your application, as well as how to style it so that it blends seamlessly into the experience that you already have. You can also integrate the SDK in games. Let's go over that now. So here in our demo game, we have two players that are looking to trade with each other. One player will click the other player and select the trade button. And once that's done, the other player is invited to trade with that person. Uh, and upon that invitation being accepted, we'll pull up a trade window. Uh, in this trade window, you can see two sides. One, we have a live chat on the left that allows players to chat with each other uh, and negotiate trades. And on the right, you can see both your inventory and the counterparty's inventory. One thing I'll mention is that this entire window can be styled to match your game's uh, UI elements. So it'll fit seamlessly into your game, matching the fonts and colors uh, of that of your game UI. And these NFTs can be limited to the NFTs that are in your game by selecting their contract addresses. So players won't see other uh, NFTs in their wallet unless you want them to. Uh, so here you can use this panel to add NFTs to the trade and to suggest the counterparty's NFTs to include. Uh, in the combination of using the live chat to negotiate the trade. Looks like I've added an item to the trade. I've suggested an item to receive in return. Uh, so once that uh, the other player adds that to the trade, I can start the offer. So I've clicked the button to move along. It sends an offer to the other party who will uh, review it and accept it. And now I can sign this offer to create an on-chain proposal. Uh, so what this does is it prompts your wallet to create a uh, on-chain proposal that the other player can sign. Um, you can see what part of the trade you are by looking at the indicators on the right. So on the right, you can see that uh, the other player is waiting to sign, while uh, on the left, you can see a progress bar in terms of creating the contract for the player to sign. Uh, so that's been completed. The other player is signing now. And once they do that, uh, which it looks like they have, it'll confirm on-chain with a progress bar here. And once that's completed, the items will swap in your game and on chain. So that's all that we have today, but there's never been a better time to build on Flow. We're super excited for the Cadence 1.0 upgrade and for EVM on Flow, which will help us bring things like a decentralized message protocol and other ETH tools to our platform. If you have any questions for me, you can reach out to us at EvaluateXYZ on X, or you can reach out to me personal on my X account at Christian underscore DTMR. Thanks for having me and have a good one.